All right, here we go. Episode one of Frost Haven. It has finally arrived. I'm going to be honest with you. The quality of these miniatures are beyond lackluster for something as ginormous and raise so much money as Frost Haven. I thought that they were really going to dump some money into these miniatures, but man, was I disappointed. That's my one major gripe. That's my one soapbox moment for this. But otherwise, we're going to paint them anyway because we love this game so much. So first of all, I want to thank all my YouTube members. If you're new, if you're just watching this, hit the subscribe button. We're doing all of the Frost Haven miniatures, including the hidden ones. So buckle up. Let's go. Our first step is going to be scraping off all those nasty mold lines with a craft knife. If you need anything, if you are looking to see what I use, hit those description below. Um, I do take a small portion, it's like a fraction of a penny, so, but it does help. Uh, once you're done with that, we're going to take an airbrush or you can take spray paint, whatever you have available, and we're going to hit that with some black. Next, we're going to take some uh, Dawnstone and we are going to dry brush this on our miniatures. This is going to help tremendously pick out the spots of areas you can't see that well. First base color we're going to be using is that Cadian Flesh Tone, very small surface area, two to three coats probably on this because we did do it basically in black. It's going to take a hot minute for it to dry. Put another coat on, rinse, wash, repeat. Don't actually rinse and wash it, I'm just saying. Next we're going to take some black Templar and put it on the hair. If you don't have this, you can use Nolan Oil. It's just black hair. The Dawnstone dry brush you put on should already give it a highlight, so it's going to stick right through. All right, for all of our metal areas, we're going to use some Grey Knight Steel, which is a very bluish, bright steel looking color. Uh, mixes very well, looks good, especially after we put some Nolan Oil on it and then re-highlight it. So I feel like this really fit our Spanner, my Banner Spear. Man, I can't even talk. For our banner areas, we're going to be using some Thousand Suns Blue. There's the banner that's on the spear, the one that's in front, and the one that's on the back. So make sure you get all three areas. For our fur coat area, we're going to put down a base coat of Mornfang Brown. Make sure you get all these areas. There's a lot of nooks and crannies that are easy to miss. For 
Next, we're gonna use a little bit of a dry brush, some Tyrant Skull. Uh, I used two different dry brushes, and you can see in the, the frame here in a second that I had to smudge some off real quick because I got too much on. You don't want too much. What this is gonna do is create a nice variant, and then we're gonna use some Agrax Earthshade here in a while. It's gonna create that nice tone. For our Hawks base color, we're going to use some Storm Vermin Fur. We're going to be using a lot of colors on this Hawk to try and match that card art. I found it kind of difficult, so uh, yeah. Next we're going to use some Gorthor Brown and put it onto our Hawk. Um, we're going to put this over a vast majority of it, not using this sparingly because we're going to use a couple other brown colors here in a second. Next, we're gonna use some Bane Blade Brown. And again, we're gonna use this onto our Hawks. Top and bottom areas, you go over the whole thing. We're gonna make a conglomerate of colors on this thing. For a couple of our strap areas and our wood portions of our spears, we're gonna take some of the XV88 and slap those down. Next, we're gonna use some Xandri dust on our gloves. These are so blah, these gloves, that you're just gonna be like, man. For the spear tips, we're gonna be using some Lead Belcher, nice little color. For the three pieces on our sword, we're gonna be using some Retributor armor. Some Rhinox hide for our sheath and handle of our sword. For our little belt area, we're gonna use some Eschen Gray. And for the completely optional portion of this, if you're looking at the card art, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of designs and stuff onto our banner area of our miniature. Uh, I went ahead and did this and it turned out mediocre at best. Below mediocre in my opinion. Um, this is completely optional. I don't think the quality of this miniature is up to snuff for this. But it is completely up to you if you want to try and match. I just made some designs. Um, something that I just created in my head. It wasn't something that, oh man I really gotta match this. Because if you try and match the card art you're going to be there for an hour. 
really messing around. So if you do this, just know that when you put the wash on, it's really gonna dull it down. So just be cognizant of that. We're gonna pre-make our eyes. We're gonna use some Abaddon Black on the eye portion. Then we're gonna put some white on top of it. You want a little bit of that black to stick through. So just take your time on this. For our skin, we're going to use some of that Reichland Flush Shade and put that right onto our skin. Next, for all of the metal pieces, everything metal, we're going to put some of that Nolan Oil on there, dull it down a lot. For everything else besides the blue banner cloth, we're going to be using some Agrax Earthshade. This also would include our glorious hawk that we are using. And our final wash we're going to use is some of that Dragon Off Nightshade. Now this is going to really dull out your yellow, so we're going to have to reapply the yellow if you did do it. So just be cognizant of that. As everything is now dry, we're going to move on to our highlight step. This is the easiest portion in my opinion. We're going to use our skin. We're going to hit that nose, cheekbones area with a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone. Then we're going to mix it into a 50-50 mix of Kislev Flesh and Cadian Flesh Tone. Once you have mixed those two together, we're going to hit those same areas up. Bridge of the nose, cheekbones, a little bit on the chin, above the below the nose. And if you can get that little tiny slit above the eye as well. And for your final highlight, we're gonna take some of that Kids Love Flesh and we are going to put that stuff right on there. Now we're gonna use some of that Abaddon Black and put that little pupil in there. Just be very careful, you're gonna get one shot at this really. For our metal pieces, we're gonna go over again with our Grey Knight Steel. Don't go into the crevices, just the top portions of it. Next, we're gonna take some Screaming Skull and we're gonna just brighten up the fur areas just a tad bit. Don't overdo this, just hit it very lightly. Don't go crazy on this step.
Next, we're going to take some uh, Abaddon Black, followed by a little bit of white, and we're going to make our eyes for our hawk. We're going to then make our highlight for our banner. We're going to use some Thousand Suns Blue, and then you're going to see here in a couple of slides, we're going to mix that with a little bit of Temple Guard Glue, a little 50-50 mix, and just picking up those areas. Now you can tell that the yellow is gone. I told you that was going to happen, so if you did it, you're going to have to reapply it. You've got your base on there, or you can just keep it kind of like nasty if you want, because we are up in the, the blizzard frost haven area it's not looking so good for the community and our gear is torn in battle weathered i guess you could say it's up to you whatever you want to do Next, we're going to put some Iron Breaker on our metal areas to brighten them up. And then if you did this step, I'm going to re-brighten up my Uriel Yellow areas. Again, I don't think it turned out very good. Um, I was trying to match the card art. It's just this miniature is not good enough quality to do something like this. It's unfortunate, um, but that's the one main problem I have with this. Next, we're going to brighten up the wood and the gold areas and then move on to painting the rim of the base and then one final 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 uh, technique if you want to do it we're going to add some Valhallen Blizzard on there just to make it look like Frosthaven we're in the woods it's, it's nasty it's uh, cold so yeah Well, there it is. It turned out, uh, turned out decent for the quality of miniatures, so we can't complain about that. It is what it is. It's what they gave us. We got to work with what they gave us. So, thank you so much for watching. If you are a YouTube member, I can't thank you guys enough for all of your amazing contributions. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow. Hit that bell. We're doing all of Frosthaven. We're doing a bunch of stuff. We ain't stopping. But until next time, paint on.